Hello Sagittarius, Summon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have codependency. We also have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. With codependency coming out here, it just represents that there's an external factor affecting a relationship between two people. And that external factor has a lot to do with somebody having a very difficult time communicating to someone what's on their mind or how they're currently feeling, okay? We'll see what's going on here, though. We're going to focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also, keep in mind time is fluid so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date all right let me adjust this lighting because i don't want anybody to get okay perfect all right how does sagittarius currently view come on how does sagittarius currently view this relationship let's see what's going on all right so we do have the fool we have the king of wands and then we also have the king not the blah, 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 blah. We have the King of Wands to the Fool to the Nine of Wands is what I meant to say. Jeez. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Swords as well as the Five of Swords to the Moon. And then we also have the Seven of Cups. Keep in mind, Sag, this could be you or this could be somebody else's overall energy. I got to be honest. Um, I don't feel like this is you, but it could be you. But um, for the sake of the reading, so that way I don't get confused, I'm just going to go ahead and say that this is you. But it kind of looks like you're being forced to let something go. And it's something that you didn't really want to let go of, but it kind of looks like at this point in time, you have no choice but to let go of whatever this thing is that you clearly don't want to let go of. I want to look at the fool because I want to see what it is that you're actually letting go of. Tell me more about the uh, fool. Okay. It kind of looks like you're letting go of an opportunity that you perceive to be a really, really good opportunity is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so it kind of looks like a connection here that you're deciding um, to basically let go of and not fight for anymore. <clears throat> you know what's interesting? You know what's interesting is that currently at the moment, even though this is not something that you wanted to um, let go of, because I can tell this is not something that you wanted to let go of, because again, you're perceiving this relationship that you're letting go of as something really, really good. So yes, I can tell that obviously this is not something that you want to let go of, Sagittarius, but with the uh, lover's card to the temperance card coming out here... I feel like you're being divinely guided towards something else. However, this is one of those situations where you're going to have to just simply trust the process here. You may not fully understand why this had to happen the way that it did, but I feel like very, very soon you're going to find out exactly why this uh, situation needed to come to an end. And I feel like you're also going to realize as to why you really needed to let this connection go. Because to be completely honest with you, even though you're perceiving this opportunity that you feel like you're missing out on with this person in particular it kind of looks like this connection that you were in with this person it was extremely toxic and unhealthy for you i mean we have the nine of wands out here for you sag we also have the seven of cups to the moon to the five of swords to the ten of swords which is just basically insinuating that your relationship with this person yeah it was extremely toxic and unhealthy for you it definitely affected you greatly um and not in a positive way you know to be completely honest you know it didn't affect you in a positive way i'm not getting that it actually affected you in a very very negative way i feel like you know you were experiencing a lot of you know I, wanna, I almost want to say trying times here with this person, but that's a given. It doesn't matter where you go or who you end up with. You're going to experience trying times, but it kind of looks like you were always experiencing trying times here with this person, you know? Not only that, but I kind of feel like this connection and messed with you mentally and also emotionally, okay? Point is, is that even though you're perceiving, you know, this person, this relationship that you once upon a time had here with this person as a really good thing... I don't feel like you're actually taking time to actually acknowledge that, okay, wait a minute, this relationship though that I had with this person, like it affected me like this, that, and the third. Um, and I kind of feel like the more you start to kind of recognize how much this relationship actually affected you in a very negative way, I feel like that's going to, for the most part, help you in regards to letting this connection between you and this person go for once and for all, all right? Let's look at your human. Don't get me wrong. I feel like this person brought, you know, some good into your life, but it kind of looks like in this situation, it kind of looks like the bad was really outweighing the good here. 
how does this person currently view this relationship moving forward um there's something that spirit you know wants you to be aware of moving forward it's really important sagittarius that you surround yourself with people who don't make you feel this way okay because i kind of feel like this person that you were dealing with they messed with you mentally and emotionally these are people that you need to avoid from getting involved with uh, moving forward you need to start surrounding yourself with people who actually make you feel good on the inside it doesn't look like this person or this relationship made you feel good on the inside so moving forward it's very um it's very crucial that you connect with people who are going to make you feel really good, who are not going to sit here and play head games with you or mess with you emotionally, okay? How does this person currently view this relationship? Okay, so we have the Fool, we have the Eight of Wands, and then we also have the Four of Wands. It kind of looks like, again, you're being divinely guided here towards something else, and I feel like this person to the right of me is being divinely guided here um, towards you. So it kind of looks like the two of you are being divinely guided towards one another. Now, with all of that being said, this does come off to me as like a fairly new connection that I'm looking at here between you and this person. There's a reason why you're being divinely guided towards them, and there's a reason why they're being divinely guided towards you. I do want to look at this card uh, for you. It was attached to the Seven of Wands. So so it kind of looks like yes you're being divinely guided towards this person but there's something that you need to learn throughout your involvement with this person and what you need to learn throughout your involvement with this person Sagittarius is learning how to let your guard down it kind of looks like that's something that you're gonna find yourself struggling with as far as letting your guard down with this person and being vulnerable with this person and within this connection that you share here with this person so that's something that you're definitely going to have to learn throughout your involvement here with this person as far as this person is concerned this is that type of person that constantly is thinking and anticipating the worst potential outcome to come out of every situation that they get themselves involved in and that's something that they're going to have to learn uh to overcome okay so in other words what you struggle with, they don't struggle with. What they struggle with, you struggle with. Does that make sense? You know, because you don't walk into, you know, situations constantly anticipating and expecting the worst to come out of this entire situation. You come off to me as somebody who's far more optimistic than they are, and that's something that you're going to help them with. But when it comes down to, you know, this person in particular, I don't see this person being guarded whatsoever within this dynamic that they uh, share with you. I mean, we have the full to the eight of wands. This is somebody who's very open and receptive to this connection. And that's something that you're definitely going to learn from, uh, from this person. Okay. So actually I don't have to look at the temperance card. All right. How does Sagittarius currently feel? <clears throat> So we have the star, we have the six of cups, and then we also have the four of swords. This is very, very nice because I feel like you're doing exactly what spirit wants you to do. Spirit wants you to surround yourself with people who are going to make you feel safe and secure. Now, even though I see this person, you know, having the ability to make you feel safe and secure, um, you're still going to find yourself slightly struggling, I would say, when it comes down to fully letting your guard down. So it kind of looks like it is going to take some time for you to fully let your guard down here when it comes down to this person. But this person has the ability of making you feel extremely safe and secure within this relationship that you guys share here with one another, which is really nice to see. And like I said, that's exactly what spirit wants you to do. Spirit wants you to surround yourself with people who are going to make you feel safe and secure. Spirit wants you to surround yourself with people who are going to make you feel really good on the inside. And we kind of see um, you gravitating towards a connection that provides you um, with that, you know, feeling safe and secure. Okay, let's keep going. How does this person currently feel? So far, so good, you guys. Okay, back to what I said about this individual. Every time this person gets romantically involved with a person they can't help but to feel and think and believe that it's only a matter of time it's only a matter of time before you know things go south it's only a matter of time before this blows up in my face you know this person has that mentality of everybody's out to get me nobody has my best interests at heart you know things of that nature and like i said this is something that you're gonna have to help this person out with just like this person's gonna have to help you uh with feeling safe and secure within this relationship just like this person's gonna have to help you with lowering your guard down here um so you guys 
really need to kind of help one another out throughout your involvement here with one another because there's things that you need to kind of overcome and there's things that they need to kind of overcome in order to honestly make this relationship work, okay? Now, what's interesting is that I kind of feel like they're, they're experiencing a little bit of, um, what's, what's the word that I'm looking for? Inner conflict. They're experiencing a little bit of uh, inner conflict here when it comes down to this relationship that they share with you because I feel like their intuition is trying to tell them one thing, but I feel like their mind is telling them something completely different. So we're going to look at the high priestess to see exactly what their intuition is telling them. But I feel like what's really happening here is that their intuition is giving them the green light when it comes down to you. In other words, their intuition is telling them, hey, you're good. You don't have anything to worry about. Hey, Sagittarius is not out to get you. You don't have anything to worry about. You're going to be just fine. But their mind could very well be telling them a completely different story. And that in itself is creating a lot of inner conflict here within this person. Okay. Let's look at the high priestess though. I just, I just want to confirm what their intuition is telling them when it comes down to this uh, relationship that they find themselves in with you. Tell me more about the high priestess. You are dealing with a little bit of an overthinker. Tell me more about the high priestess. Okay. We have the eight of swords. We have the uh, magician. And then we also have the uh, knight of swords. At the bottom of the deck, yep, we have the uh, queen of swords. And then we also have the seven of swords. I feel like their intuition is trying to tell them... Um, that they do have the they, they do have the tendency of overthinking things they do have the tendency of allowing their mind to run away with them they do have the tendency of constantly thinking believing and feeling like everybody's out to get me nobody has my best interests at heart so when this person starts to find themselves second guessing you in this relationship that they share with you it's very important that they understand that it's not their intuition telling them yo watch out don't trust this one over here it's their intuition trying to tell them, hey, you have a habit of doing this and it's time that you stop being this way. It's time that you stop allowing your mind to run away with you. And I've been saying this a lot in my readings. I personally don't think it's ever a good idea for any of us to be following what our mind tells us to do or what our heart tells us to do because both things are capable of deceiving us. As you can see here, this person is allowing their mind to run away with them to the point where they're constantly finding themselves anticipating and expecting the worst to come out of this entire situation um, that they find themselves in with you. This is somebody who does come off to me as somebody who's very cerebral, so they tend to live in their head. Uh, not so much in their heart space, mainly in their head space, I would say. So you could be dealing with an uh, air sign strongly. So an air, uh, not an Aries, you could be dealing with another Aries. Um, but possibly a Gemini, Libra, maybe even an Aquarius, but this person comes off to me, like I said, overall as somebody who's extremely cerebral. So this is not somebody who makes decisions based off of how they feel. They mainly make decisions based off of what they think, right? Because they are so cerebral. So they don't really rely on their heart too much. They like to rely on what their mind tells them to do. And like I said, this is why I don't recommend that we don't follow what our mind tells us to do or what our heart tells us to do because both things are capable of deceiving us. And this is what we see happening here on this person's behalf where their mind is basically deceiving them. Their mind is causing them to think, oh, I don't know. I don't know about the Sagittarius. I don't know. They kind of look like a player to me. You know, I, I'm pretty sure it's only a matter of time before they hurt me or they betray me or deceive me, you know, things of that nature basically. So this is why I don't recommend that none of us follow what our mind tells us to do or what our hearts tells us to do because both things are capable, right, of deceiving us. But one thing that never will ever deceive us is our intuition. On an intuitive level, this person this person's intuition is giving them the green light when it comes down to you. But this person's intuition is also kind of telling them, hey, like you really do have the tendency of overthinking things. So just make sure you don't let your mind run away with you this time in this relationship, which is just basically implying that this is this is something that they tend to experience quite a bit when they do get romantically involved with someone. They tend to overthink things. They tend to allow, you know, their mind to get the best of them to the point where it does come in between them and what it is that they honestly want to do here, which is quite simple. It's manifesting and creating a life with you. But the more they allow their mind to run away with them, the more that comes in between what they're trying to manifest slash create here with you, which does appear to me as like a long-term and stable relationship. Let's keep going, you guys. What actions? Also, too, 
Um, also, too, I feel like this is something that this person needs to kind of work on. They need to work on being more open, honest, and transparent with you because we were kind of getting that. That communication may have been like an issue here. Um, I do kind of feel like this is one of those type of relationships where the two of you need to really... Well, I think that that should happen in every relationship now that I think about it. But you guys need to really help one another out. You know, when you find yourself finding it extremely hard to become vulnerable within this relationship, that's something that you really need to communicate to your significant other, vice versa. When this person finds themselves overthinking things and getting into their head, right, about this relationship, they need to be able to communicate that to you. Communication is definitely key in this relationship and any relationship that you get involved in. If you try to face all of this head on all by yourself, you're going to struggle. If this person tries to face all of this all by themselves, they're going to struggle. Communication um, is definitely needed in, in this entire situation for the two of you to be able to kind of overcome what the both of you kind of need to overcome here in order to make this relationship work. Because I'm going to be honest, if you don't overcome this massive fear of intimacy that you have, um, this relationship isn't going anywhere. If this person continues to allow their mind to run away with, with them, this relationship isn't going anywhere. This is one of those situations where you guys really do need one another. So don't try to attempt to face all of this by yourself because you don't have to. You got them. Vice versa, okay? All right, let's keep going. Let's see what else we can get here. What actions will Sagittarius take towards this person or moving forward? Okay, so we have the Five of Swords, we got the Ten of Swords, and then we also have the Temperance card. You do come off to me as somebody who does have a massive fear of intimacy. It's not easy for you to let people in. It's not easy for you to lower your guard down. It's not easy. So even though this person has the ability of making you feel safe and secure, that in itself is just not enough for you to fully trust this person in this entire situation just yet, which is totally understandable. But you guys... I kind of knew that this would happen here where you would attempt to try to face all of this by yourself and not burden them with your issues, right? And let, let me just tell you this. We all got issues. I got issues. My neighbor has issues. We all have issues. Um, I kind of feel like at times though, it's very easy for us to feel like we have to face all of our issues all by ourselves. So that way, you know, we don't come off like we got issues. We all got issues. I just kind of feel like we're really good at hiding it i feel like we're really really good at hiding it that's kind of what it all boils down to but no we all have our issues trust and believe me we all have our issues um so don't ever think or believe that you're dealing with somebody who doesn't have issues of their own because they do because they definitely do but i feel like that's the problem right is that you don't want to dump your issues onto them and make it their problems they're not trying to do that with you either and it's like no like you're supposed to be there for them. They're supposed to be there for you. You're not supposed to face all of this by yourself. They're not supposed to face all of this, you know, by themselves. This is a team that we're looking at here. So you guys have to play as a team. You got to be there for them and they got to be there for you. But if you attempt to do this by yourself, which I see you doing it anyways, and I see them doing it anyways, it's going to cause you to feel like, nah, I can't do this. This is too much. I don't really trust them like that. You know what, maybe maybe this is a sign that I should really walk away from this relationship and no, it, it, no, it doesn't mean any of those things. It means that you're not allowing anybody to honestly be there for you and help you and assist you through everything that you're currently facing within this relationship. You could get rid of this person all you want, you know what I mean? But I promise you the next relationship you get involved in, you're going to find yourself feeling like, oh, I don't know if I can trust them. I don't know if I can trust them. I don't know if it's safe for me to go there, you know, things of that nature. And you got to allow this person to be there for you and vice versa. You know what I mean? That's what it all boils down to. Don't take it as a sign of, oh, you see, it, it's, it's hard for me to be vulnerable in this relationship. So that must mean that I shouldn't be letting my guard down with this person. No, it doesn't mean any of those things. It doesn't mean any of those things. What it means is that you're not allowing this person to be there for you the way that they should be there for you vice versa right because at the end of the day if we're thinking about think about it like this if we're thinking if we're thinking about a long time partnership here do you really want a lifetime partnership with someone that you can't rely on somebody that you can't depend on somebody that you can't be vulnerable with somebody that 
can't help you during your difficult you know moments do you really want that no i don't think so nobody does right and, and that's kind of how you have to look at this we're talking about a lifetime partnership here like you're gonna want somebody who's gonna be there for you during your difficult moments and this is how you start learning to allow someone to be there for you and that kind of requires you to let them be there for you. Let them help you. You know what I mean? Talk to them, right? So that way they could be there for you. All right, we have the uh, Ace of Cups. We got the Five of Pentacles. And then we also have the Sun. So in regards to um, how this person uh, plans on moving forward, you know what? You know what? This is somebody, like I said, this is somebody who constantly has this mentality of everybody's out to get me, nobody has my best interests at heart, et cetera, et cetera, right? It just so happens that you actually have a lot that this person's looking for within a person. So even though this mentality of theirs has more than likely prompted them to self-sabotage really good opportunities uh, for them in the past, we don't see that happening this time around with this person. And it's because it just so happens that you have a lot that this person's actually looking for within a person. In other words, walking away from you is a very challenging and difficult thing for this person to do because you have a lot that they're looking for within a person. Had you not had a lot that this person, um, had you not had a lot that this person was looking for within a person, this mentality of everybody's out to give me, nobody has my best interest at heart would have already taken over and they would have already self-sabotaged the relationship, but we don't see them doing that. We see them, you know, staying put here. And honestly, the same applies for you if you think about it. Like the likelihood, right, of you meeting someone like this again, may not happen this person also has a lot that you're looking for within a person as well like this is somebody that you know you feel like all right I, I can see myself you know having something serious with this person over here so if you were to turn around and self-sabotage this relationship the only person that's really losing in this equation is you Sagittarius same applies for this person if they were to turn around and self-sabotage this relationship well the only person that's going to end up losing in this entire situation is them and the odd part of it all is that I feel like I'm looking at two runners here, which is strange. This has happened to me before in a reading. I just don't remember who it was. It happened recently. I want to say a few months ago. I feel like I'm looking at two runners here. Typically, we'll get like a runner and a chaser like situation, but we're looking at two runners here. You know, the moment that the moment that you start to feel not so safe and secure with a person you're very quick to be like no nah, i can't do this right and then you self-sabotage it um for them it's like the moment they start to think ah oh, man this person's out to get me i should really run right and then they turn around and self-sabotage you know it we, we we just don't see them doing that this time around and we don't really see you doing that this time around see this is mainly this is mainly like an energy of i don't know if i can do this milagros i'm starting to get scared i don't, I don't know if i can trust this and stuff like that but we don't see you really going anywhere we don't see you going anywhere this is you know the the crazy part is is that what's really keeping the two of you together is a relationship that you guys share with one another. That's literally like the gorilla glue that's keeping you guys together is a relationship that you guys have with one another. If we get rid of your doubts and your reservations and the what if this happens, what if that happens and the same applies for this person. All we really see here is a relationship that has a great deal of potential. All we really see here is a connection between two people who clearly love and care about one another. That's what we see here. And that's literally what's keeping the two of you together is the fact that you know you got a good thing and they know they got a good thing. And that's literally like, like the gorilla glue that's keeping this relationship together. And it just so happens they have a lot that you're looking for within a person and then vice versa. Not only that, but with the King of Wands coming out here for you to the King of Pentacles, that's nice. It just kind of hit me out of nowhere. I feel like this person is inspiring you to change your ways okay so dude this could be one of those cases right where prior to you meeting this person you were probably a little bit of a playboy playgirl like energy i'm not judging you i'm just saying okay i'm just saying you know because it kind of looks like prior to you getting involved with this one it doesn't look like you were really taking anyone 
uh, seriously. And that's okay. It's not a judgmental thing. It just is what it is. You're not going to run off into the sunset with just anybody. You know what I mean? Which, I mean, I get it. You know, I understand why you probably didn't take, you know, a lot of people seriously prior to meeting this person. Maybe you just didn't find the right one until now. Point is, is that this queen is actually inspiring you to change your ways. So it kind of looks like you don't want to be a player no more. And that's okay. I'm pretty proud of you when it comes down to that. But outside of that, let's see what else is going to happen here between you and this person. Okay, let's do this, you guys. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Strength card. And then we also have the uh, Two of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles to the Wheel of Fortune. And then we also have the Lovers. So in regards to... What's going to end up happening here between you and this person um, moving forward? I kind of feel like this is something that the both of you need to do. The both of you need to do. You guys have to get very crystal clear on what you guys truly want here with one another. If you want to be with them and they want to be with you, you guys have to honestly come together and honestly do what you guys have to do to make this relationship work. Because right now, the only thing that I feel like you guys need to work on is your communication here with one another. There is no rhyme or reason why you shouldn't allow this person to be there for you and then well, vice versa. Like Again, we're talking about a lifetime partnership. Trust me when I tell you, you're going to want someone that you can confide in. You're going to want somebody that you can be vulnerable with. You're going to want somebody who's going to be there for you during your difficult moments. Same applies for this person. And this is something that you guys need to start practicing now um, before things start to get more serious here between you and this person. Because y'all don't want a relationship like this to the point where you feel like you can't talk to them and they feel like they can't talk to you. You guys do not want that type of relationship because... It's always going to cause the both of you guys to feel alone. And that's not how a relationship should ever make anybody feel. So that's something that you guys need to start practicing now before things start to get more serious here between you and this person. Because the potential for it to get more serious, it's already there. But you guys also have to really decide like okay is this something that you guys really want with one another or not and if this is something that you guys want with one another as far as building towards something long term and something stable is concerned y'all already know what you guys have to do work on your communication um start allowing them to be there for you they need to start to allow you to be there for them um and see this entire situation through no matter how scary it may get or how difficult it may get um, see this entire situation through because a lot of good can come out of this relationship that you guys share here with one another. Outside of that, you guys are good. You guys are really, really good. You guys are good. You guys can totally make this work, you know, but there's just a little things that you guys need to work on and, and that's fine. You know what I mean? But I don't ever want you to feel like, uh, let me not tell them, you know, what I'm struggling with, you know, because I want to come off like I got issues listen homie we all have issues i got issues okay i have issues everybody that i've ever dated has issues like everybody has issues you ain't the only one i just kind of feel like we're really good at hiding it we're really good at hiding it that's just what it is but no trust me when i tell you we all have issues okay all of us we all have issues you got issues they got issues i got issues my neighbor got issues we all have issues so don't ever feel like oh like let me not tell them you know what i'm struggling with within this relationship because i don't want them to feel like i got issues man this person has issues of their own we all have issues you know i just kind of feel like we're just really good at hiding it but outside of that you know, I think that you guys are going to be a-okay. All right. So that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, the link is in the description box down below and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.